We're all incredibly happy to be here. I'm Darcy Gentleman, American Chemical Society. All right, so thank you very much, and we will start the program in a minute. We will start with our very first finalist. She is Jennifer Novotny. Jennifer, join me on the stage, please. Hi, I'm Jennifer Novotny, and today I'm going to share with you a material that has changed the world. I'll give you a few hints. Americans use over 60 billion pounds of it a year. It has also revolutionized the medical industry. Do you have any guesses? The answer is polymers. Polymers are large molecules made up of many smaller repeating units that we call monomers. These monomers are then chemically linked together to make the larger polymer chain. Well, thank you, Jennifer, for going first. It was very nice. Um, a couple things I really thought you did a very nice job of. Um, one, especially, was kind of bringing it to people's daily lives, so showing them, uh, you know, things like clothes, the TSA scanner, mm -hmm. how your work really affects what they're doing day to day. And I think that's very important for people trying to communicate science because a lot of times people, you know, kind of their eyes glaze over, they don't know what you're talking about. So I think that you did a very nice job with that. Let's give it up again for Jennifer and Paul. And next, our second finalist will be Ashley Robinson. Hello. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Tell us a little bit about what you will be presenting. To totally. Us. So. Hello. My name is Ashley Robinson, and I have a love affair with fruit. I love raspberries, and mangoes, and apples. Well, thyme all smells like Listerine, and bees want to eat sugar, so they're not going to voluntarily eat thyme all. So we had to use the synthetic organic chemistry tricks to get the job done. But once we have this molecule created, we can now feed bees this solution in a thyme all sugar solution, proving once and for all that sugar really does make the medicine go down. Thank you very much. Ashley, that sounds very sweet to me. Nice job. Um, I love the fact that you started off with the love affair with fruit. That really uh, brought me in and I found it really engaging. I thought it was a great choice. Um, and also, uh, the, one of the first questions you asked, I felt that it was really effective that you really asked the audience and that you really took them in and responded to their answer. So thanks again yeah. for being one of the finalists totally. and presenting here this evening. Another round of applause for Ashley Robinson. How sweet the sound. Our third finalist will be Tian Nguyen. My name is Tian Nguyen. I studied organic chemistry, which is all about making bonds. Being an organic chemist is kind of like playing with Legos, just a really large set of Legos, where you're constantly figuring out different ways to put the pieces together. So to make drugs, chemists have to make and test thousands of compounds. With our method, we've given them one more tool to use and one less rule to worry about. Thank you. Nice job. Um, I loved your starting with the personal. I thought that that really brought us into you and wanted us to learn more about you and what you had to say. Um, I also uh, liked the analogy of the Legos. I thought that was very effective. And I felt, uh, particularly in the beginning and and part of the middle, you were really talking to the audience. You were really talking to people. Well, I know we've all done it. So let's let's give a big hooray for breaking the rules, everyone. Thank you to you. Thank you. Now we will have our fourth finalist, Alexis Schusterman. Alexis? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Well, my research brings the everyday benefits of HD into the realm of atmospheric chemistry. I study carbon dioxide, which you might already know is produced when you drive a car or power a factory. So with our high definition data, we can start making CO2 reducing recommendations that are tailored to individual neighborhoods and institutions. With our sensors, we can even monitor who is following the newest CO2 regulations and who is breaking them. And that is exactly what it's going to take to tackle a problem as huge as global climate change. I was listening to this entire presentation thinking, man, I want to see this animated as a TED-Ed animation. Like, 
I want to see that. And I think, you know, it just, it really hit me and I thought the entire presentation flowed very well. Um, and I, at the end, I think you made a very large problem seem like something that we could tackle and that was solvable. And that is something that is very important for something as big as global climate change. Thank you. And thank you. Let's give another round of applause to Alexis Schusterman. Our fifth and last finalist for this evening's event will be Jeff Dubrow. I'm good. How are Doing you? Doing well? Yeah. A little nervous? Uh, a little bit. You're ready? Oh, I ready, think Ready, set, I am. go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to be talking about the flavor of aged whiskey. Now, often when we eat or drink something, we don't stop and think about what makes bread taste bready or a whiskey taste like, well, whiskey. But what it all comes down to is mixtures of hundreds or even thousands of different molecules interacting with receptors in our nose and our taste buds. So, when we want to understand flavor, we first have to understand the chemistry of the foods themselves. So we use our tools to get a chemical fingerprint of all the compounds that are there in a whiskey. We can then compare the fingerprints between young whiskies and old whiskies and see what's different. We can then take those different compounds, isolate them out, and taste them. For the ones which taste good, the ones which we like, we can find out how they're naturally formed so we can go back to distillers and give them advice on how to tweak their processes to make better tasting whiskey. Now that's chemistry you can drink. At the beginning, I thought you started speaking a little uh, quickly. It seemed like you had a lot to say. You were excited about it, uh, but you did start to speak a little quickly. Yeah. And I could understand everything you were saying, so it wasn't that it was mumbled or lost or anything. But there was kind of a difference between when you were interacting before and after and when you started actually giving the presentation. So uh, a little more relaxed, I think. Um, and you didn't think... I don't think uh, the, what you actually did presenting the material, I think, was very well done in that you brought it back to what people know and like, um, talking about bread and whiskey, making a connection there. I thought all that was very good. I would have dropped a few things, um, you know, especially with a popular audience. I don't think you need to mention like a mass spectrometer or maybe the instrument names necessarily. Just saying, you know, we separated it or we did something like that. Um, so that's just a matter of pitching it to a different audience. But uh, overall, very well done, I think. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff, and toast up to you as well. <laughs> Wonderful. And there you have it, all five finalists for the American Chemical Society's Chemistry Champions Finals. All right, thank you very much, Samora. Let's give it up again for our five finalists. Let's give it up for our three judges. Let's really give it up for Samora for emceeing this wonderful event. So as Samora said, this is now about you. You get to choose who the chemistry champion is. We are going to do that by text or Twitter. So you can use the number as soon as I activate it. <laughs> um, this works from the United States and Canada, or you can use Twitter from anywhere in the world. The voting is now open. You can vote up to three times. We're going to close the voting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Runner up and winner of <laughs> hosting an ACS webinar is Alexis Schusterman. Alexis, wonderful, wonderful. First place, our grand prize winner will be Jennifer Novotny. Jennifer, you will have the opportunity of sharing your story with Hollywood. Congratulations. How do you feel? I'm really excited and I think I'm shaking more than when I got off stage the first time. 
but you've done an excellent job. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of our chemistry champions who participated in this evening's finals. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you all. This will now conclude the ACS Chemistry Champions Finals.